Hi. In this lesson we'll be looking at deleting a node from an n array tree. Questions in the past on lead code and on YouTube have covered deleting a node from a binary search tree, but this case is a bit more complex because first of all the nodes are not in any particular order and each the node can have any number of children. We have an example here. We have a tree given to us. So if you look at node number 2 its children are 8 12 and 55 so this is an nary tree here we can have four unique situations here so the case number 1 is a very simple case is to just delete a leaf node the leaf nodes in this tree are 11 12 55 7 10 63 91 and 100 To remove a leaf node, all you have to do is find the node and take it out. In case two, we just have one child. Node number six, the child of it is just one. So all we have to do is take node one and put it to where node six was. The parent of one will now become five because it was six in the past, and it's been moved up, so promoted. So its parent will now be five. In the next case, you have two options here. Let's look at node two for example. Its children are eight, twelve, and fifty-five. So let's say that we want to remove node number two. We have two options, right? We can either promote eight, twelve, and fifty-five, move them all up, or we can just move one of eight, twelve, or fifty-five. So here. the first option is to promote everything so what we do is we take the children 8 12 and 55 and we push it back to the parent of node 2 so obviously now the parent of 8 12 and 55 will change from node 2 to node 3 the last case you only promote one child so let's say that you want to fire 2 and promote 8 so in this case what what we do is If you look at node number 8 it has two children 9 and 10 so we obviously need to include these what you have to do is you need to remove the children of 2 which are not 8 so here 12 and 55 and now they become the children of 8 so they're actually pushed down because since 8 gets promoted 9 10 12 and 55 must be children of 8 because they must be combined into one So this means that the remaining children of 2 now become the children of 8. We reassign their parent to 8 and then you put node 8 to where node 2 was. And lastly we reassign the parent of 8 because that one also gets promoted. It's a bit different here we have four situations. So the implementation will be done in C++ here. I have two functions. The first one is to find the actual node that we want to delete. It takes in an integer value. And the next function will be to delete the node. It'll take in the root, which is the storing node, an integer and a promote setting string. So if we can promote all nodes or just promote one, we need to tell our function what to do. And that will be captured in the string argument here. So we have the node structure, we have an integer value. we have a vector of children which points to all the children and then the parent node we also need one global variable to be used because the find node function will be a recursive function and i'll be using depth for search so we need to make it a global variable because if we assign it in the recursion value if we define it there it'll be called every time and reset so that's something we don't want and now with this struct here and this functions let's do the implementation so for the find node function let's begin so i'll be say if if the data equals the integer value of a which is the argument being passed you set found node equal to node and then you return found node else we search the ch children recursively so for i equals 0 to the length of the children we need to search it for each element you just call the function one more time 
So you call find node of the children and then you compare that to A and then you return the found node. This is similar to a pre-order traversal of an N array tree. It's quite simple and that's it. Now we can begin with the delete node method. So for this one, as I said before, we have four different cases here. So let's write some comments and let's set up the architecture of this method. So that's case one. If it's a leaf node, just delete it. If it has one child only, we promote the one child. If it has more than one child and we can promote them all. And lastly, if it has more than one child and if we just want to promote one of them. To find the search node, we simply call the find node method, but first let's set up if else statements here. So this will be simple if else architecture because we have many cases and it just needs to do one of them at one time. And lastly, we need an else at the end for the last case. So I'm doing it in increasing order of difficulty. I'm starting off with the most simple case and I'm going down from there. For the search node, you simply call find node root and a. So it'll start off at the root and then do a depth for search and then return that value to search node and then you get its parent. So if the search node has no children, it means it is a leaf node. You simply look for the node in the array and then you erase it. Since we're using vectors, you have to erase that node from that position if it equals A. If it has one child, it'll be children.size is equal to one. You do something similar, but instead of erasing it, you assign the value. So you get that one child. So it'll be the zeroth element since we're using zero based indexing. Once you have the one child, you simply assign it. So you have to search the array one more time and then if the data equals A, you simply assign the child there to that array. And that's it for the one child case. And then lastly, you need to assign the parent as well. So now, if it has more than one child and we want to promote them all, I'm going to say the promote setting argument is equal to all and the size is more than one, right? So that's our condition. We get the children of our node first and store it into a vector since that's what we need to promote. Next, you have to look for that node within the array. So you erase it one more time. And then lastly, all you have to do is push it back. You push back the all children elements into that parent node. So here I'm doing all children, I'm resetting the parent and then pushing it back to the parent node. So that does it for this method here. It gets pushed back at the end. So your tree might look a bit different. It might be on the other side, but overall the architecture is the same. So that's it for the method where you want to promote all the children. Now the last case scenario, we get the children one more time and we we have a value for node to promote and insert position. This time we'll insert it in the correct location in the array. It won't be pushed back at the end. So now we have to look for that ch child, right? So let's put some loops and then look for it. So here we're saying the node to promote is the children. If the data equals the promote setting, so that's our node to promote will be included in that string. 
So we get the children and then we reassign the parent as well. So the parent will become the parent of the node that we find and we want to remove since we're promoting the node below it. Here we're saying we record the ins insert position of the data point of the children which is equal to the node that we want to remove. So we delete that and then we simply insert the node to promote backup. And you'll see how I do it here. So here we're saying push back the children, the other children of the node we want to remove, which is not the one we want to promote. And then we simply reassign the parent here. This diagram should help you understand that case better. So that is it for this function here. We just need to return the root as the last step. But that covers all the four cases. And I recommend you spend more time looking at this function and understanding it better. So let's test our functions here. I'm going to look at a multiple cases here. So this, I'm just printing out the tree before doing anything. So that's our tree printed here in 2D form. And if you want to learn how to print out a tree like this, you should find the link in the description. So I'm going to cover a bunch of test cases. The first one is a leaf node. So that's 12. And it doesn't matter what the node to promote argument is because it doesn't even look at that. It'll just look at the node to delete. So here we remove 12. So you see how before it was 12 and 55 at the top. And now we just have 55. So the leaf node has been removed. So that's good. Now let's look at six where it has one node below it six. And now you'll see how node one goes below node five. Previously it was below node six. So it's been promoted up. And once again, the, the string argument doesn't matter because it's not being even read. Next, let's look at promoting node number two and let's promote all the children. So when we run this, we can print out the tree one more time. You see how the nodes 8, 12 and 55 are now being there and they have now below the root. So node 2 has been removed. Also the ch children of 8, which is 9 and 10, stay intact. So we don't lose any other information. So far everything looks good. This printing is a good way to verify your algorithm and to make sure that it works. Now let's promote just node 8 and let's run this one more time. So now you see how just node 8 is being pushed back. The other nodes stay in their same level. Also the nodes are being inserted into 9 and 10. So because it gets pushed to the children. So even this part of our code works well. So everything is good and our algorithm works. That's it for this video and thank you for watching.